a hearty welcome to one and all. I am Rohini Batwal from Bukhi Education Society's JDC Bitku English Medium High School with its standard science subject and the chapter name is Composition of Matter. So let us begin. Can you recall students? What are the various states of matter? What is the difference in ice, water and steam? What are the smallest particles of matter called? And what are the types of matter? We saw in the previous standard that all the objects that we see around us and also those which cannot be seen are made of same or the other matter. Let us see. Can you tell? Students, classify the following matters into three groups. Cold drink, air, sherbet, soil, water, wood and cement. And question number two. What are the states of matter that you use as criteria for the above classification? Comment your answers students in comment section. Let us see. Try this. Take some mustard seeds in a transparent plastic jar. Thread a long thread at the center of a big balloon by means of a needle and tie it tight. Stretch this rubber diaphragm and fix it on the mouth of the jar by means of a rubber band. Pull the diaphragm up and down with the help of the thread for slowly then with moderate force and then vigorously record your observation in the following table now see two columns are there students mode of pulling the diaphragm up and down first is given slow movement of the mustard seed vibration in the same place with moderate force and then vigorous on the above experiment we give energy less or more to the mustard seeds by pulling the diaphragm up and down making them move differently the particles in the solid liquid and gaseous states of matter have movement some what similar to that an intermolecular force of attractions acts between the particles of matter the extent of the particle movement is determined by the strength of this force the particles of solids are very close to each other and vibrate at their fixed position. Due to this, solids get property like definite shape and volume and also high density and non-compressibility. The strength of intermolecular force is moderate in the liquid state. Though it is not strong enough to fix the particles in definite position, it is strong enough to hold them together. As a result, liquids have definite volume. However, they have fluidity and their shape is not definite but changes in accordance with the container. The intermolecular force is very weak in gases. Therefore, the constituent particles of the gas move freely and occupy all the available space. Consequently, gases have neither definite shape nor definite volume. Figure 6.2 shows schematic representation of submicroscopic picture of the physical states of matter and the table 6.3 shows the characteristics of the states of matter. Let us see that. See students solid. Its fluidity, rigidity, plasticity and elasticity is given. We will see it is a rigid, plastic and elastic. See the volume, it is definite shapes definite compressibility negligible intermolecular formula strong distance between particles are less that is minimum see the liquid it is fluid volume is definite shapes indefinite compressibility very small intermolecular force moderate distance between particles are moderate let us see the gaseous it's a fluid volume is an Definite, shapes are indefinite, compressibility is very high, intermolecular force very weak 
and distance between particles are very large now see students can you tell is given write the composition of the following materials by means of chemical formulae and classify them accordingly name of the material is given you have to write the chemical formula that is composition and you have to write the type of matter let us see the first that is water chemical formula is h2o and types of matter is compound see the second carbon chemical formula is c types of matter is element oxygen chemical formula is o2 type of matter is element air oxygen plus nitrogen plus carbon dioxide and other gases so types of matter is mixture aluminium so the chemical formula is al and its element brass copper plus zinc again it's a mixture carbon dioxide that is co2 it's a compound now see students this is the second method of classification of matter in this method the criterion used for classification of matter is chemical composition of matter we have seen in the previous standard that matter is classified into three types that is elements compound and mixture by considering whether the smallest particles of matter are similar or different and what are they made of all the smallest particles that is atoms molecules is an element or a compound or a like however the smallest particle in a mixture are of two or more types the smallest particle of an element contains identical atoms for example each molecule of oxygen contains two oxygen atoms in bonded state the smallest particle of a compound are formed by joining two or more types of atoms to each other example each molecule of water contains two hydrogen atoms joined to one atom of oxygen that is h2o the smallest particles of a mixture are atoms molecules of two or more elements or compounds for example the main constituent molecules of the mixture namely air are n2 o2 ar h2o co2 similarly the mixture an alloy that is brass contains atoms of copper and zinc while bronze contains atoms of the elements copper and tin the given figure 6.4 shows a schematic sub microscopic picture of the types of matter namely element compound and mixture and also their characteristics let us move then towards the characteristic c students see students element is n2 that is nitrogen molecule compound is nitrogen dioxide molecule that is no2 and mixture of n2 and no2 that is a mixture see the oxygen o2 nitric oxide molecule is a compound that is no mixture mixture of n2 and o2 constituent substance of element is the only one in element and it is said that element itself okay constituent substance of a compound is only one and it is that compound itself constituent substances of a mixture are two or more elements and or compounds see in elements all the atoms molecules of an element are alike in compound all the molecules of a compound are alike but in mixture atoms molecules of a mixture are of two or more types see the next all the atoms in a molecule of an element are alike and are joined to each other by a chemical bonds in the compound the constituents atom of a molecule of a compound are of two or more types and are joined to each other by chemical bonds mixture the constituent molecules of a mixture are different from each other and are not joined by a chemical bond next atoms molecules of a different elements are different compound the proportion of constituents elements is a compound is constant and in the mixture the proportion of constituent substances is a mixture can change 
do you know students water a compound pure water is a compound formed by chemical combination of the elements hydrogen and oxygen whatever may be the source of water the proportion of its constituent element oxygen and hydrogen by weight is always 8 raised to 1 hydrogen is an inflammable gas while oxygen gas supports combustion that is burning however the compound water formed by chemical combination of the gaseous elements hydrogen and oxygen is a liquid it is neither inflammable nor does it support combustion on the contrary it helps to extinguish fire now let us see a milk it's a mixture milk is a mixture of water lactose fats proteins and a few more natural substances the proportion of various ingredients of milk is different as per its source the proportion of fats in cow milk is 3 to 5% while it is in 6 to 9% in buffalo's milk the ingredient water is naturally present in large proportion of milk therefore milk exists in liquid state the sweetness of milk is due to the ingredient called lactose in other words the properties of the constituent substances are retained in milk rest of the lesson we will see in the next video students